Last week, we presented the Hacksmith team two different visual directions. Hacksmith Reloaded, which was an update and an upgrade to the current visual style, and Hacksmith Revolution, which completely reimagined what the future of the Hacksmith brand might look like. Today, we're gonna hear from the Hacksmith team and see which direction they resonated with most. Our designers are gonna take the selected visual direction and apply it when designing the website itself. Welcome to the third episode of Studio Experience. Brought to you by Flux Academy in partnership with Webflow. This was uh, far more in depth than I was expecting. Initial gut reaction is leaning towards Reloaded. It's not so much that I don't like Design 2, the Revolution idea. It's a farther departure from a lot of the things that we know already work. With Reloaded, we still maintain so much of what brought us to where we already are while completely re-envisioning and, and modernizing. I think there are a lot of pieces from the duality component of the revolution design that we can actually learn from and incorporate into the reloaded design. I like the simplified logos, but I am also terrified of changing. I honestly felt purchase motivated with some of the, the fashion concepts, the apparel concepts out of Revolution. One of the best things that design number one did, reimagining thumbnail design using the exact same font as the main hero, having that shared brand identity between the thumbnails, that was an immediate click. Taking feedback from the client is one of the most important skills a designer can have. The most successful designer is not necessarily the one that can come up with the most creative idea, but rather the designer that can listen and implement some of the client's feedback to collaborate together with them and reach a solution that actually solved their business problems. Just from the time that we started to now, like, what are your feelings? Just what you've learned from the presentation and the process so far. It was very valuable to hear. You put so much effort into something, but then your design has not been chosen, but see that it's all a part of a bigger picture and every effort we make, it's for the team. Agencies, that's exactly how it works. Like you have a pool of great minds with them together and they iterate on things and test things out. Some things work, some things don't work as well, but it doesn't mean that the work is not great. We need to fit the ideas together in a way that works and is cohesive. When I found references or layouts and stuff, we can still use it. It's not about the colors or the logo. George Lois, this guy's an advertising creative director. He says in his book, 1% inspiration, 9% perspiration, 90% justification. When you're doing client work, you spend the majority of your effort explaining it and building the rationale about it, leading them through it. Based on the client needs, we created as a site map. This is a visual representation of the pages of the website and what content they need to include. We use Reloom's AI sitemap tool to turn this sitemap into a wireframe, which are rough layouts of the content and also write some of the copy. We then share the Figma wireframe with the Hacksmith theme so that they can review and leave comments on the structure and copy themselves. After all the comments have been addressed, it's now time to turn the wireframes into high fidelity designs using the selected creative direction. While all team members are working from the same creative toolkit, they're all using the same color, same fonts and same imagery each one of them is going to have to put their own creative spin on it when implementing this creative direction on the website itself. Let's see how they're doing. Talk us through what you've done and your decision making. I want to create a website that is for the fans, good enough to be for the partners. James should be the face of it. Really, I use much more big text. Show the advertising section with like their stories. Partner with us, really show the best companies they already work with. And then of course, put some logos and a CTA for their partnership the shop gray color here and a little bit of grain left one is the hover yeah and the footer I kept it very simple this this would be in the header it would be a background video animating in somehow try and make it more kind of theatrical if you can remember the section from the matrix the, the terminal comes alive the letters get typed so I wanted to bring a bit of drama to it through the animations and their interactions yeah feature projects and then below there'll be other projects but again this is just like very initial kind of wire Frame. Create an immersive experience implementing some animations during the scrolling to create that immersive vibe. This is the hero section scroll down. We have these two elements. You uh, look closely, you see I have a gradient that the grid behind disappears when we get into the real stuff. We remove the grid when we try to change the topic. Then we have the section of the projects. People can see they build actual stuff. Video section from YouTube. We have some metrics about the YouTube so people can understand this is a huge business in terms of building and making YouTube videos. Let's start on mobile. Just to spice things up. The big making fiction a reality. There will be video playing in the background, so that's why there's like a stop button. 
show actually in a nice way that we take projects from schematics to actually real things transitional grid from black to blacks and then we have the projects and then we have section about like aspiration we cannot maybe there a button for working for us props go to gang for really creative use of the typeface and the store is also simple without pricing and description i believe simple inspiring partnership nicely placed with the layout of companies they worked in the past the hero section right? the show real image and make it intentionally bigger you can just do a quick show reel, which i think is possible based on their videos then if you scroll down this section will be sticky as they scroll you can think it's like the duality concept you show like their featured projects the main statistics there to like meld in together with the feature then if you scroll below and i would say this is more like a visual break slash catering to the requirement of like hey how can we make it inspiring for people and as they scroll probably scroll going to view the the word pop up after that all the images will do a very very slight parallax and after that you go to the store we can do a marquee of like all the kind of different items they have on a on a shop so guys i think that we can just go ahead and share what we have my main exploration revolved around like taking the existing elements and seeing where we can push the boundaries the home header that theme of duality i was thinking like maybe you could use maskings or fills and like maybe we start with it the text will like appear it'll stretch and yeah. fill like in a mask and then maybe it, like then you see it like kind of shrink and then the video expands and there's a sizzle reel quick snapshots of them working on stuff and then this would just be a looping thing so what is hacksmith what do they do super quick like statement this is their like our latest videos maybe we can emphasize the latest videos with the with the most recent being the biggest button to go to see all videos we have projects and i'm thinking we could do a couple things here there's a few thumbnails here on one project and you sort of paginate between the with these arrows here and so right now you're on the first thumbnail and that's what you're seeing it's indicated what you could do there by like the icon so like okay cool there's some hot spots we could learn about this flying bike has a thruster what does a thruster do what is the status of that thruster on the project it's complete or in progress there's some stats images you know you could tell there's a video and maybe there's like a 3d view again just really pushing on that theme of duality what if by default you have sort of these blueprinty sort of images at least on desktop they'd by default be like a blueprint and then when you hover you sort of get like the real image one of the things i thought was important was hey we want to communicate to people we're a real place and we have jobs i i left partnerships in i was thinking of like a masking footer so like those metal security gates that open up like this like teeth that's what this pattern actually reminded me of. And I was like, oh, what if they like closed or something? So that's where this idea came from. It would like scroll and it would sort of like reveal this. And then you just have like your standard stuff, like your your social media, maybe a mini site map. Our H1 are called Blackfish, the, the video collection. And then, yeah, as I put it as a slider. It, we basically have two collections here. So I decided to break them with this. We have the Badass Project, but it's separated collection page. I integrated some numbers from here. This is the Hero section the people should be in the centers a picture where someone from their team using their product half of this picture can be like an illustration half can be an actual photo and then we can animate to show fiction to reality video section I went with latest videos and after that we have projects the featured products they want to promote the most will be a partner with us and the other part can be calling the fans to submit their idea each one of these designs has ideas that can potentially be a good fit for the clients but unfortunately, we can't present 10 different websites to the client, so we have to narrow it down to only two. Let me know in the comment below which two designs you think are the best fit for the client. With only three weeks to go, the designers are now tasked with bringing their designs to life by developing them using Webflow. You're all going to go ahead and build and develop the website. In two weeks, we're going to make a decision on what two websites are going to be selected. And the people who will be selected will have the opportunity to present to the client. Treat this seriously because you'll have the potential to present yourself. It can be huge for you, huge opportunity. So step up your game in terms of delivering. Join us next week to see how the designers implement their vision using Webflow, including thinking about interactions, animation, and making the website responsive. And also which one of the designers has the presentation skills to take them to the final stage, presenting their final websites to the Hacksmith team. I'll see you there.